What is Agentic AI and how is it different from an AI co-pilot? Hello, my name is Abigail. I was a trained opera singer turned screenwriter and now I'm a marketer. So decidedly not an engineer. I wanna see if I can cut through all the marketing noise out there and actually explain what the real difference is between Agentic AI and an AI co-pilot in layman's, laywoman's terms. Okay, so first things first, I did what anyone with a brain would do and I Googled it. And yes, Google used AI Assist to answer my questions about what an AI agent is. I believe we call this irony in the writing biz. All right, so here's what Google gave me. Google is really trying to hone in on the difference being that agentic AI seems to be autonomous, whereas a co-pilot needs a user to input directions and then the AI generates a response back. Okay, seems simple enough, but what does autonomous really mean? And honestly, how does this relate to security reviews? I want to compare and contrast. Apples to apples, maybe this is an apples to orange situation, I'm not sure yet. I wanna see what it's like to use an AI co-pilot for a security review versus using something like an AI agent. Easiest way to kick this off is to use the Mac daddy of co-pilots, ChatGPT. I'm just gonna mess around and I'm gonna throw this test questionnaire into ChatGPT. For all you security people out there, there's no sensitive data in this. This is a completely fake questionnaire. I saw you tons up. And then of course, because ChatGPT doesn't know how my company would answer these questions, I'm going to feed it my knowledge base so it has something to work off of. Let's just see if it can sift through it. Hmm. Yeah, so ChatGPT really beefed this first go round. It didn't really understand either document that I fed it, so I had to then go in with plan B. I asked ChatGPT if it could match my questions with the answers if I just copy and pasted all of the information directly into it, and it said, yeah, it could. I was feeling very positive about the whole thing. So I fed it everything, and it was still like, hey, that's a lot of data you just gave me. So out of these two options, I picked the one I liked best, which was matching the questions to the answers for me. And then finally I got a response. But the problem with this is that I have to go into this and sift through to make sure one, that they are correct. And if they are, number two is that I've got to copy and paste everything back into the original document. So RIP to that. I hypothesized that these results were gonna be mid and it really took me a hot second. There was a lot of prompting and reprompting going on to kind of get this to a workable state. So my verdict of a co-pilot is, at least in terms of ChatGPT, kind of mid. But according to Google, it did do the things that a co-pilot is supposed to do. In this case, I prompted it to answer these questions for me, I gave it the information, and it spat it back out. Sure, technically it checked those boxes. But where I struggle with the co-pilot is that it doesn't solve for any of the additional manual steps that take place during a security review. So I've got a list of steps from start to finish and let's see what of these steps ChatGPT actually helped me with. Uh, truly four and five. I got it to process the information and the questions and technically it did answer them for me. Check, check. But there's still six other steps here. Sorry, there's nine. <laughs> There's still seven other steps here. So now you really have to consider the time drain. If my pretend scenario took me this many minutes, imagine multiplying that by 30 reviews. So what can an AI agent do differently? Google, come back to me. Independent, that's our word of the day. AI agent should be able to do this entire list, start to finish, and then notify you when it's done so you can check it over before it goes to the customer. They should also be executing all of these tasks based on the rules and guardrails that you set. So they're acting independently. You set the rules and expectations and they follow them and take independent action and make judgment calls within that scenario. That's what I'm starting to understand. Big brain. That is a much more efficient process. But like I said, I'm just a trained opera singer turned screenwriter turned marketer. While I think I have explained this in layman's terms, I wanna know from the experts. So I'm bringing in to the smartest people I know. This guy is an engineer. He builds the stuff. He's really smart, he like codes. This guy is a product marketer. I don't know, he worked for the CIA. See you next time for interviews. Stay tuned. Big brain's coming up in your future.